Hello guys and welcome back to the How to Animate YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be continuing on with this animation I'm going to start a blocking phase and just so it's clearer what I'm doing I've decided to split this up into sections based on the cameras I roughed out in the previous video so if you haven't seen the previous video go back and watch that I discuss how, how I create the reference for this and uh, yeah let's get into it so so this is the part we're going to be working on in this video now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Okay, and this is the reference. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself. Great. So let's start breaking this down. So I've got um, I've got perspective here, and here is the camera, just so I can pose in this view and just keep an eye on what's going on for the actual camera. You always want to animate to the camera and make sure your poses look good for the camera. Okay, so at this point we're going to put the pose in. Okay, so raise them up. Okay, so that's that pose done. I'm just going to play this. I've set this to step keys now. Now I start to get a little... Now I start... Start... start is actually this pose here so at this point he is going to be starting to lean forward a bit more so I'm just going to pose this out now so this now is I the start to get a little next ahead. pose I start locked in now I start so we've got a, a base pose an up and a down to this pose here okay let's have a look at what happens next so he kind of stays within this body attitude for quite a while like his body's kind of lent over to the right and slightly forward throughout this entire bit okay there's quite a bit of gesturing here I guess the next major gesture would be this arm coming up and across So here's the final blocking of the key poses for this bit. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Okay. Now so I, now I start. From here we can start breaking this down even further. Okay, so I'm going to stay in stepped keys for as long as possible, and um, start adding some in-betweens here. Okay, so let's let's look at this first section here. So we've got a up pose and a down pose so what we can do here this is what I like to do for in between so it's on stepped at the moment I'm just going to select this bit so it's a linear okay and we're going to see what the computer gives us I'm just going to run the Eula filter just to make sure there's no Eula going on okay there was a bit going on there that's good okay um, so I'm going to find an in-between that I quite like. Let's say that one. So let the computer help me out. And then go back to step. Okay, now we can start shaping this how we want. So I'm going to favour the down a bit more. And let's create a nice in-between. So he is... He is tucking up a little bit because he's going into an up position. So, 
let's just delay the arms a little bit, delay the head a little bit coming up. I'm just going to check my reference quickly. Now I start to get a Yeah, so we are going to have to put an in between in here as well. So again, I'm just going to set it to linear. So I'm going to favour the up position, so I'm probably going to take take that and set that step again, and just drag this along, and this will keep him in the up position for a bit longer. Okay, I'm just going to do something a little bit different, and just keep him. Slightly higher during this bit. Maybe bring the shoulders up as well. Like so. Okay, that's looking better. Okay, so this is our down position. This would be our extreme down position. It's not needed. Okay, so if this is our down, we're going to want a recovery from that. So I'm just going to push this down slightly more. Okay. And up again. So he's going down, up, up, down, and then recovering from that. Check my reference for, for this section here. Okay, so we've got this pose here and it's pretty dead. I'm pretty sure in the reference. Start to get a little ahead. Okay, so I'm just gonna break this down here. Um, so we've got a lot of stuff going on with the hands here, which will probably be too much. See, so it's like. And there's arm movement all over the place. It kind of works for live action, but I think if we put this in the animation, it would feel like there's just too much going on. But I would like maybe one of those to go in, those little gestures, so let's figure out where that would go. Maybe on a little. Okay, so let's, let's put that in. So if we've got a down, up, So I'm just going to bring him down again. Okay, let's see how that plays out. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself. And this happens. I get a little something for my... Okay, so we've got this section here. a little something for myself. A little something for myself. So if you watch the reference. I start to get a little something for myself. So there's a lot of up and down beats in there. I th think this might be too much, but I'd still like to get some of that in because I think it's quite nice. So we've got a up position here. And it goes down on little. So let's raise him up a bit here. Something. For my self. Okay, let's switch back to stepped. Yeah, so I think that's too many up and down, so let's, let's strip some of this out. Okay, let's get rid of for my. And let's 
have him start to turn a little bit sooner into this. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Cool. Now I start to get a little. Yep, that's looking a lot better. All right, so last couple of in-betweens I want to add are to just to define this quite large gesture. Um, now I think in the reference he goes from this kind of tuck thing he's doing here. He then goes back to like the equivalent of the neutral pose. Uh, I decided not to do that. I'm just going to keep him in a down position and then he's gonna do the same kind of gesture from that position there so let's start breaking this down and defining this line of action okay so quite happy with that might have to change it and make it a bit more exaggerated later on but for now it'll do okay let's see what the computer gives us so I'm gonna switch over to linear just for that section yeah, the computers were really not helping at all. <laughs> okay, let's just grab what's in the middle there, and we're going to shape it ourselves. So, go back to step. Okay, so, I want to lead with the hips a bit more. Drag the upper body down. And try and define that arc a bit more and bring the head down as well so I'm looking for a nice line of action coming this way ok I think that'll do for now let's add a a top pose, an upper pose so this would be our upper pose here, I'm just going to exaggerate this slightly more and make it an overshoot ok and we'll make this our down position or settle. So we just drop everything slightly. Okay, so we've got quite a jump from here to here. So we're going to have to define this. Now, because he is, his hips are coming from here and are traveling right. We need to just give a tiny bit of overshoot to that before it returns back. Okay, and after this, after this frame here, there's a camera cut. So we just need to make it look nice up until this point, and then when the camera cuts, we can uh, repose everything and make it look nice for the new camera. Okay, so here is the final blocking part. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself. And this happens. Cool. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that as a a first go at this. Um, obviously, as we go along, it's going to get a lot more refined. I'm going to work section by section on this, as I did in the previous videos. So I'm going to take this all the way up to, you know, a good first pass, and then move on to the next section, and then do a final polish pass. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you found it helpful at all, then please give it a like and even share it if you like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.